Hi. Okay, this week I'm wearing pink because it was a rough time for my family. Um, so I want to just share that with you today that um, we found out that my stepdad has cancer and it's literally stage four. And so I'm like, okay, what can I do to maybe make this a better situation, make it a positive thing that could happen based on the news that just happened for me and my family. So I said, I, I got to at least reach out to you to give you some s simple foods that could possibly help you to prevent the fact that there's cancer in our world and we can make choices that are better to hopefully prevent that. So my first tip for food that you can eat that is going to help you is basically all plants have this phytonutrients and um, with that it, it's, it has a natural occurring chemical that really helps prevent cancer and so two foods that are in the plant um, based situation is broccoli and cauliflower so you guys put it out there that actually any vegetables are good but two vegetables that are really really great are broccoli and cauliflower so that's number one tip max come here come here next is vitamin c okay so vitamin c is in grapefruits oranges and you know even bell peppers they they have uh, vitamin C. So look at that. It's a great, great situation that helps prevent cancer. So those are two, you know, not so bad things to think about. So, you know, it's not that hard. And an easier one than that is teas. Black tea, green tea, white tea. They're so good for you to also give you the chance to prevent any kind of cancer that's out there. So we already got the plants going, broccoli, cauliflower. Um, we have vitamin C, which is oranges, grapefruits, and even bell peppers. And now any tea, just maybe, you know me, I'm a coffee drinker, so I do drink tea also. And so that's a great way to prevent the possibilities of cancer in our bodies. And um, the last thing that I want to tell you is my favorite thing of all time is sweet potatoes. It's high in beta carotene and it's so good for you. And believe it or not, people that do have a lot of beta carotene in their diets have almost half the risk of breast cancer. So you guys, you know, it's I'm, I'm saying these things, these are my opinions, but if we can do little things like this, Possibly these, this information that maybe my 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 pop did not get, you know, this is going to help us keep us from hearing this kind of news. So, um, also I went to the doctor a couple years ago and I was very low in vitamin D. And I'm like, okay, the sun, but I get out in the sun, but I don't want to get out in the sun because you don't want to damage your skin. But low vitamin D is another way to you know, attract cancer. So what I feel you should do is go to the doctor if you have it and see if you are low in vitamin D. And I take supplements for that, but also salmon is a very, very good source of vitamin D. I don't eat a lot of meat, but sometimes I, I do eat fish, not very often because, you know, I don't like to cook it in my house. But if we're at a restaurant, every blue moon, I do have a little salmon because I know it's good for you. So those are my tips for today out of some not so great news for our family, but we're really reaching out to him and, and giving him every positive thing that we can do right now for our family. Um, I'm trying to reach out to you to give a positive out of this really negative situation. So you guys look things up, try to see if there's other things you can do to prevent this horrible disease. And um, wow, it really caught us off guard. So let's do it, let's, let's keep this, that's why I'm wearing pink, and of course I have a little bit of Lakers on me too because I support that, but let's get out there and make ourselves better every day. So that's the ambitious, ageless ambitious with confidence 
all about Christine. This is my tip for the week. See you guys later.